Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nobody knows you better than a conference rival. A conference matchup to get those juices flowing. Time to spin that ACC wheel of destiny right now. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Number 80, back to return. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 35. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And he hits him hard at the 42. He makes his way to about the 28. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And he's level at the 25-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Complete, and down he goes, around the 18-yard line. That's a game of seven. Tackle made at about the 13. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. It's first and 10. Ball on the 13. State. He kept it himself and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? the PAT. A seven-play, 65-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. Harry's proved in the past, Kirk, that when he's at home, he's so much more comfortable. The whole routine all week long, and it makes him play better on Saturday. It, it does. I think there's a difference between him on the road and him playing at home. I, and I don't know if it's just that home-cooked meal or just being around the familiar atmosphere here at this stadium, but he does seem to play at a different level. And it's going to be a challenge for this defense to be able to stop him this week. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Fires out to his receiver. 
A yard if they're lucky on that pass play. Well, not a whole lot of yards there for the wide receiver, but at least a short gain is better than an incompletion. And they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And that'll be three and out. Fourth and long here after the sack. Edwards is back to receive. And he's tackled at the 37. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. That's, That's good, good for a gain, for a gain of 16 yards. yards. Check, First down. Right, right, right. North Carolina State is up seven. Tackle around the 26-yard line. Second and long. Ball on the 26. Nice run up the middle. for six. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. North Carolina State can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. And down he goes at the 32. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He tackles him for a loss. The quarterback trying to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball in the 29. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. Nicholas was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Coleman is the punter. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. NC State's got a great offensive game plan in this one. Well, they are off to a great start. And sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point. Keep their foot on the accelerator. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Looking for his man, incomplete. Second and 
Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's at the 40. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Thompson looks ready to kick this one off. Fine. Takes it at the four. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. You know, after that last turnover by this offense, the momentum has really turned in this game. And right now, you've got to believe this defense is going to come out and play with a lot of intensity and a lot of aggression. Gets it out quickly. That makes it second and six. North Carolina State holds a field goal lead. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Turn. Back to return it. And he's taken down to the 47-yard line. NC State's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tackled at the 38. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 10-7, Wolfpack. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Three down, three down. 43 is the mic. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. Taken down around the 13 yard line. And he's taken down at the five. And they'll get him in the backfield. 
He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That'll make it fourth and two. This one should be makeable. North Carolina can tie it up here with this kick. It's up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Now that is exactly how you draw up the option. When this offense is executing the option effectively, they are a tough team to stop from moving the ball. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he shoved out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. Third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Check nine, check nine. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Grabs it, and he might go the distance. Brought down at the 22-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Some room. Touchdown, North Carolina State. He makes the PAT. Well, Kirk, good news. I saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Nicholas from the four. They'll bring him down at the 24. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's brought down quickly. Just throws this one away. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. it out and down he goes right around the 38 yard line and he's hit before he can go anywhere 
But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down and six. Ball on their own 41. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Larson, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Washington is his intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Edwards will be the return man. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. First down. North Carolina State is up a score. Fires that quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. They lose four there. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Crosses to the running back and he pulls in another one. And they got him for a loss. North Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Thompson to punt. Brought down at the 24-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. They hook up over the middle. Tackle at the 42-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Coleman is waiting for the snap. Oh, what a hit. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. North Carolina State up seven points. Tackled after a decent pickup. We've still got a half of football remaining. NC State's lead is a touchdown.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's out to the 30, and they push him out at about the 33-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. And he can't get away from the pressure. Three yards on the way. That'll make it third and 13. So that sack will back them up a little now. They're looking at a difficult third and 13. He wants it all, going long. And he's got his receiver, it's the sophomore. Catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He guns it. He's hit and taken down. about four yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. This one really looks like it's going to come down to the finish. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. 
And he converts the extra point. A seven play, 85 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. This game is all tied up, 17. North Carolina to kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27 yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Quick strike to the back, no good. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Takes it counter right, makes it out to about the 40. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 9, Mike 9. Mike 9. He's That's good for That'll make it second and seven. stop the 44 yard line picked up a yard of anything on that run yeah it was a short gain but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play they'll go with the run once again he's tackled at the 48 yard line to be successful you've got to be able to come through on third down and that's just what they did with that big run Back with a carry. And he's tackled right around the 36 yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Quick throw incomplete. Wanted his receiver. And this play is number eight on the drive. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. hit immediately. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw to the tight end. And he is drilled at the four-yard line. Gain of 17 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. Herman gains around three yards on the run. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Here we go, third and goal from the three-yard line. Under pressure, and they got him. And for Waters, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis.
So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. North Carolina State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Bird gets set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. And he just got stood up right there. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 32. That brings up second and one. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. This one away. From their own 34 yard line. It's second down. There's a strike complete. Very good tackle in space. That'll bring up third and inches. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 2017, North Carolina State. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. taken down immediately. Again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Zips it to the back. Tackle made the 23-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. 
They'll go with a toss right. Looking for the corner. And down he goes around the 10-yard line. rid of this one great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled play 13 of the current drive fires quickly and it's picked off has some daylight And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 43-yard line, first down. North Carolina State is up by three. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. At the 35. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does. But in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. That'll make it second and four. puts an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout. That was really a remarkable catch. The quarterback didn't throw a good ball, but the receiver made a great play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They'll keep it on the ground again. He gets hit out of bounds around the 12-yard line. That's a deep four on the That brings him second and five. play and now they're in a great position to score I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays and for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense here's the eighth play of the series tackle around the two-yard line the running back gets two on the carry the defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no huddle attack that brings up a second and goal all on the two He's going to try and scramble. And they got it. Great penetration to get in there and sack the quarterback. Brad, that's his second sack of the day. This defensive end, again, has outstanding quickness and goes right by the offensive line to get to the quarterback. Tenth play of the drive. to the end. 
end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Offense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25 yard line. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Let's it go. Got it. And they make the stop at the 40. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Under a minute left in the game. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. the clock with a spike. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Four down, four down. 23 is the mic. Red hot. Looks to his receiver, first down. And he's tackled at about the 21. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it six and ten. From the 21 yard line, second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. What a play, and that is first and goal. So 
the offense back in the red zone here and looking to erase the memory of that interception on their last trip. Second down, goal to go. Ten yards to the end zone. And he's taken down at the two-yard line. Spikes the ball. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Defense. Still third, Still third down. down. From the one yard line, it's third down. And he tackles him hard at the nine yard line. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one 27 17, North Carolina State. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. North Carolina State comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kurt and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.